close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to let go of everything else that would pull you away. Any random thoughts that might come through, any noises outside, just let them be. You don't have to disturb them. When you don't disturb them, they won't disturb you. You pay attention to the breath, because the breath is nourishing. It's food for the mind. If you think in terms of traditional Thai medicine, there are three types of treatment they give you. First, they'll tell you the things that you have to avoid. In other words, foods you have to avoid eating or activities you have to avoid because they'll worsen the disease. And then there's the, the tonics they give you there to nourish you, to strengthen you. And then there are the, the cleansers, the detox medicines that flush you out. And the Buddhist course of treatment for the mind is pretty similar. In terms of the precepts, these are the things you have to avoid. Concentration is the tonic, and discernment is the detox. When you see things, something going on in the mind that's actually causing yourself stress or suffering, or causing suffering for other people, you've got to flush it out of your system. You've got to see that this is nothing you want to hold on to. The Buddha has you think, what will be for my long-term welfare and happiness? And then you apply that to things that you're thinking and saying and doing. And if you see that anything is going to cause long-term harm, okay, you try to flush it out of your system. Remind yourself of why you don't want to identify with it, because you do have the choice. So many things that we hold on to as being us or ours, as long as you have that sense of attachment to them, then think of them as being part of you, then it's going to be hard to let them go. But if you see them simply as options that you can choose to do or choose not to do, then when you realize, okay, this is not for my long-term health, this is not for my long-term happiness, okay, let it go. And to let go of things like that requires that you have something to strengthen you. As with any detox, sometimes you flush a lot of things out, you need strength. And that's what the concentration is for, to give you the strength you need in order to keep on flushing out the things that are not good. And to prevent yourself from being tempted to do the things that are going to be bad for you. When there's a sense of well-being inside, then the mind is not quite so hungry for whatever little snacks come by. You notice sometimes the food comes down the line in the morning. Sometimes if junk food comes first, you take it because you're hungry, and that's what's there. But if good food comes down first and then junk food comes later, you're not going to take the junk food. You're not tempted because you've got, you know you've got something better. So the concentration is that something better that allows you to drop the things that you know are bad for you, stay away from them. Then anything that's already in your system, you can flush it out, and you can still be strong. So the Buddha is giving you a complete course of treatment to take care of all the mind's needs. And it's simply up, up to us to take it. He's not the kind of doctor who would give you a shot. Traditional doctors didn't give shots. They would give you the list of medicines, and you would go out and find them yourself. And then you take them. So it's up to you to do the cure. He's the doctor who tells you what the cure is. But it's up to you to see that it's worth taking and you stick with it. That's when you benefit.